Good morning, Bumblebeezies. Happy Tuesday. It is Tuesday. It is 8.23 in the morning. I am going to make some coffee. Um, this one just kind of jumped out at me, so let's use this one today. Universal Studios. It's a very simple mug, but I love it. And we are brewing a Starbucks breakfast blend. Ooh. For creamer today, we can either use Rice Krispie Treats or we have the sugar-free Italian sweet cream. I think I'll just use this because it's already open. So we'll just stick to this. Today's plan is I need to go to the post office. I might just ask the kids to go for me though because I kind of don't really want to go. So yeah, I just need to mail the um, giveaway prize. I was supposed to mail that last week, but then um, we went to Disneyland and then we went to Vegas, so I didn't have time. So I'm gonna mail that out today. And then I want to do some laundry and wash some sheets. And that's about it for today. Nothing spectacular. Oh, and I'm making, um, we're making chicken tacos for dinner tonight. I don't think I showed you guys, I made these really good chicken tacos last week. Did I show you guys the chicken tacos? I don't remember. But we're gonna make that again today because it was so good. Papa Bear requested it again. So we're gonna make that today. It was really good. So today is the day that the Oogie Boogie Bash tickets go on sale for Magic Key Holders. For general public, it's gonna go on sale on the 30th, June 30th. So we're still waiting. It says, please sit tight. The queue will open soon. But I have it on my laptop and I have it on my phone. So fingers crossed we get our tickets for the day that we want. Okay guys, the queue is open. We are in line, but it says the wait time is more than an hour. So let's see, it is... What time is it? It's 9.22 right now, so let's see. So it is 9.48. It's basically been like 25 minutes. Mine hasn't moved, but AJ's... It says 30 minutes. 30 minutes, so yes. Good thing I asked you to join the queue. Yeah. Update. AJ's queue went down to 29 minutes, and then all of a sudden, boom. 50 jumps up. Minutes. Yeah, jumps up to like 52. Now it's 34. Oh, okay. Fingers crossed. Woo, such a relief. We got our tickets. Woo. Took us an hour. Well, it took us like 50 minutes to get through on AJ's phone. And can you believe my laptop and my phone still says over an hour wait? That's nuts. Hi guys. Wow, my hair, my hair is doing its own thing today. Anyways, it's lunchtime. And of course we have another chopped salad kit. This one is avocado ranch. This was actually from last week that we never got to eat and it expired yesterday, but I mean, it, it's fine. It's not actually like an expiration date, right? It's kind of just like Best Buy, a Best Buy date. So we still haven't even gotten to the salads that I bought this week because these we had two salads left from last week that we needed to eat so okay this salad is avocado ranch it comes with green cabbage green leaf lettuce kale red cabbage carrots green onions four cheese blend blue corn tortilla strips with an avocado ranch dressing so I'm gonna have this and then I kind of want like soup Maybe ramen or just like cup noodles, but we'll see. Or maybe like a sandwich. And then after I eat lunch, I'm gonna work on the marinade for tonight's dinner, the chicken tacos. So I'm gonna marinate the chicken for a few hours. Also, the kids went to the post office for me to send out the, the giveaway prize, but then the address was wrong. So now I'm waiting to hear back from the winner to confirm the address. And the kids had leftover pizza. We had Little Caesars yesterday, so we still had a few slices left. 
Is there still any left? Um, no. There was only four. And you still have your meatball sub. <laughs> I don't know if we'll eat that. I don't know how we... We have too many leftovers. Okay, this smells delicious. There's the salad. Before I start um, the chicken marinade, I want to open this package. I ordered a purse organizer from Amazon. Normally, well, the other purse organizer that I have for my Neverfull is from a website called samorga.com and they're basically, they're handmade. They're from Korea. It's really expensive for shipping. So basically, I was looking at order, I was looking at it because I wanted to order one for my Speedy and the organizer itself is not that expensive. I think it was like 50 or 60, but then shipping was going to be 30 and it was going to be like 90 something dollars. So I was like, <laughs> let me see if I can find a cheaper one. So I looked on Amazon. See, now I don't know if I'm going to like this, but let's see. It was only like less than $20. But I already don't like the fact that it can fold this flat because the ones from Samorga, basically it acts as an organizer and also a base for your purse because if you know, if you have a Louis, then you know that the bottoms can sag. They tend to... Okay, so here's what it looks like. And then there's a middle insert that Velcros. So there's Velcro on each side. There's a pocket right there. Yeah, the quality of this is way different than the one that I like, but we're going to we're still going to test this out. We're going to see. I think this centerpiece it it's good cuz it adds more stability to the bottom, so maybe it won't sag. So let's try getting it in here let me take everything out of my purse first might need to bend it to put it in or fold it yep okay and then we're gonna put the insert back in Okay, so here's what it looks like inside the purse. I do think it's giving it a lot more structure. And then I'm gonna put my wallet. Oh, I love this already, okay. I mean, just the fact that, just the, having the organizer, it's 10 times better because this purse, if you have this purse, or I mean, I'm sure you can tell, this purse is like a bottomless pit where you put something in and it just gets lost forever. <laughs> Not really forever, but it has no organization to it whatsoever. So if you have a purse like this, you definitely need an organizer. Okay, so I like that it does, I like that there are different um, size pockets. Oh, there's something else in here. Oh, it's like a storage something say goodbye to mess okay let me show you guys what I've done how I organize my speedy 25 this is a speedy 25 so it's not that big but basically I have my wallet right here so now my wallet is standing up like that it's not gonna fall flat to the bottom of my bag so oh my gosh you guys this is going to be so much better so much better I definitely recommend getting an organizer for your purse if you don't already have one. Um, 
I think how I was saying in the beginning, I didn't like that it folded, but honestly, it's fine. It's giving support because of that centerpiece. And I do think actually maybe it does need to fold in order to get it into the bag, like to shimmy it in. So yeah, it's totally fine. And it's not sagging at all. So it is giving support on the bottom. I shouldn't have judged it. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I, so far I'm really liking it. If you guys are interested, I will leave, I will leave this linked in my Amazon storefront and they do make organizers for different bags and there's different colors, all different colors. So I chose the red one because the inside of my purse is red. So yeah, I'm going to leave it in my Amazon storefront and I have that linked in the description so check them out it was like under twenty dollars it's perfect i also got this somebody actually sent me the link for this because i had mentioned i wanted something that i could use for like attaching my phone to like the mirror or like the wall so that when i'm vlogging on my phone i could like stick it to the window or something or the mirror and it's basically these little discs it's called cloud valley sticky gel pads so i think you just stick one side to the mirror and the other side your phone will stick to and excuse me it says does not leave any sticky or greasy residue behind can be washed and reused over and over again Re Relatively heavy items such as iPad to ensure its stability it is recommended to use two pieces for best effects gently press on the gel pad for one to two seconds when the sticky pad gets dust wash it with water the sticky pad will revert to its original properties so look at like what they're using it for like their phone they just showed an example like it holds this bottle upside down and they put these like iPad on the phone, like on the wall. So you could like film from anywhere in like any position. I'm excited to try this. Now my phone has a built-in, like my case has a built-in pop socket. So hopefully this will still work, hopefully, but we'll try it out later. And it, it came in like a pack of five, so I can put them like all over the house. So we'll test these out later.